Yo ho! Yo ho! Alright, guys, we're back with DKDK TV. It's Damon, F, Guy Back, and Irene. Alright, so today what we did was uh, we, we went to Itaewon to find out which places to go for locals versus which places to go based on TripAdvisor. And we'll find out which way is a better way to check out places in Seoul, whether it's gonna be DKDK or Yuho. And so please. Uh, do vote for uh, based on your conscience, and <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, Irene! <laughs> Is that red velvet, Irene? Stop it! Stop it! Alright guys, so we're here at this place called Chiang or Taste and we're now uh, waiting for our uh, meal to arrive. It oh, means taste. Yeah. It means yeah, taste. It means it's Korean it's Chiang. And I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, <laughs> cheese tteokbokki. Mm -hmm. With seafood, right? Yeah. I've never seen tteokbokki with ricotta cheese. Wanna try? Tteokbokki 먹는 방법. have this dish plate with bulgogi with a lot of side dish small little piece well oh, big big piece big, big piece no, small piece. piece no i no. know put some veggies and of course a lot of kimchi <laughs> i mean this is damon's okay. put a bit of sauce then you gotta make it small as possible what, what is up, dog? Quack, quack quack. We're gonna have lunch. Oh, gloomy. <laughs> the weather is and so gloomy. We're using TripAdvisor to give us mm -hmm. some suggestions, and we're gonna go to Maple Tree House Itaewon. Oh. I've actually passed this place uh, like multiple times when Me I've too, been to Itaewon, right? but I've never actually been here. Uh -huh. And I always see a lot of tourists, a lot of foreigners, foreigners coming here. There. It has 380 reviews on 388. TripAdvisor. 388. Interesting take on Korean BBQ. Great place for Korean BBQ, delicious Korean BBQ. So we're gonna have Korean BBQ, I yeah. guess, today. So and this is the this, this is the place. This is the place. So yeah. as you can see, oh, the place that you never go to, right? Like we never go to that place. This is a sim symbolic. When you talk about this, mm -hmm. like the green glass bottles, everybody knows it, but yeah. nobody actually knows this place. I always notice foreigners eating here. A variety of meat, Korean BBQ. There's also bibimbap. Now we're gonna have Korean BBQ here for that because obviously everyone else is having Korean BBQ as well. for you so I, I think that's why foreigners might like it it might be a new thing for you grilling uh, Korean BBQ so you might burn it but here they grill it for you mm. oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
종이나물 어, 가, 가, 가 어... 5.5 out of 5. It's one of the best tastes I've ever tasted. Among bulgogi and the side dishes are very high quality as well. But the only thing that this restaurant lacks is the quantity. We ordered two, two servings, and we're still hungry. <laughs> we're still hungry. Yeah, it's sincere. They're like saying like, <laughs> oh yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> I mean, it is a tourist place. Because TripAdvisor is recommending it to yeah, us. Yeah, sure. But the food yeah, was really good. Yeah. It's just like right. a kind of a ripoff. Kind of a ripoff. Right. Very yeah. expensive. Well, like places in that street is always ripoff, right? Yeah, it's yeah. very expensive. Yeah. For your information, we ordered only three plates, and it was full. How much was it? I don't think it was more expensive than the blue beef. For a plate, it was like fifteen to twenty dollars. <laughs> to be honest, I prefer Yu's uh, restaurant. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the interior, you know, the sofa and table was like really pretty. Okay, I don't really care about that. But. Oh, why? <laughs> it looks, it looks tasty. It looks care. tasty. Game over. <laughs> okay. So they're gonna work out. <laughs> Maybe there's a concert here. But it's not normal book place. It's like, it's really Sign, you bought a book. stylish book. People even read books here? They yeah. buy books. Really? Oh, and read books. And read books. Yeah. They, they're doing kinky boots now. Yeah. So this is actually like a concert hall. Mm -hmm. But there's... Like, there's a bistro. There's a bookstore up here. And there's 101. And there's this guy at the back. So it's like culture plex, right? Mm -hmm. Culture plex. All in one. It's my favorite food. Mmm, good book. You're not reading any book. No, 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 no. I'm already reading a book. No, you're just What's the showing title? off. What's the title? What's the, the title? Great Gatsby. What's the main character's name? Gatsby. <laughs> no, no, not Gatsby. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> <laughs> we are here at the War Memorial. We just finished our lunch. It was a very good meal. And this is actually recommended as a very popular activity on TripAdvisor. It has a lot of reviews. 3,629 reviews. 4.5 stars out of 5. It is actually one of the most popular activities to do in Seoul for TripAdvisor. So and it's right next to yeah. Itaewon, so yes, it's like it's a walking close. distance. Yes, it's like a 10 minute walk. Yeah. And people are saying impressive quality effects and care about the details. A great place to mm. learn about Korean history. Okay. Must go museum. I have never been to this place since I was, since I yeah. graduated from elementary school. 
This is actually the first time we're going since a very long time. Yeah. I've been here like when I was, when I was in elementary like young. school. Uh -huh. Yeah. So actually I feel very bad about it because a lot of foreigners are visiting and I see right. a lot of foreigners but right. not a lot of Koreans. Most of the exhibitions here are about the Korean War because that is the biggest war that happened in Korea. This was used in the Korean War to carry our, um, you know, ammo and supplies to the front lines because 70% of Korean land is made of mountains so it's very difficult to actually build roads uh, for cars and stuff like that, trucks. So they actually had to use this manpower and carry it over mountain. We won this yeah, one. Yeah, I think we won this one. The bookstore looks good, but like to be honest, you can see those bookstores all around. Yeah, so I don't have to go to Itaewon to buy books. Well, you can see the waiting line for the one on one goods. You can see the waiting line? <laughs> yeah. The War Memorial Museum is a place that you should go to. And yeah. after they come to the store. But <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> well, if you're a foreigner, you might have to think twice because you can't read Korean. So you'll end up just oh. taking Instagram pictures. Oh, that's, worth it. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's that's the reason you go there. Next, we went to a cafe. <laughs> Next, we went to a cafe. I went to a very popular spot recommended by Trip Advisor. Advisor Surprisingly, <laughs> it was a very surprising spot. At the end of the day, yeah, we've been to the war museum, and that was very touching. Yes, yeah. you know, the the pain of our ancestors, our ancestors and the soldiers. And now Korea is very big in cafes as well, so we're gonna have. A little bit of coffee and trip advisor is surprisingly suggesting we go to coffee smith detail on it 37 reviews four wow. out of five coffee stars smith. and this is basically like a starbucks yeah it's like a ch it's big a franchise chain. very nice interior nice ambience mm -hmm. great coffee and amazing well, vibe i guess foreigners like it then i mean like well, it's, it's very it's, it's very it's normal very it's very normal to korean but Okay. It's like let's I chill. Mean, let's you chill. Know, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad or anything, but it's like you know you're saying this to a Starbucks basically. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's similar to going to going to the Starbucks in Seattle or something. Yeah. So where is this place? So this place is called Old Fairy Donut mm -hmm. Cafe mm -hmm. and it's really famous for like little peach donut and it's really pretty and delicious. But is it closed? No, no, no. It's like upstairs. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought it was closed. Keep spinning. <laughs> Yay! If you break it, you have to pay it. That's cool. <laughs> So this is it guys. 
traditional Korean boat or whatever. Oh, we have a waiting list? Just spell my name wrong. Oh, oh they have a waiting list, list for a cafe? Yeah, because yeah, it's really a popular place. Oh, it's yeah. so. I've never been to a cafe with a waiting list. So obviously, the guy back doesn't even know my name. <laughs> Alright, it's such a shame. <laughs> <laughs> we have like matcha donut, coconut donut, peanut butter donut, raspberry and turmeric. Okay, so we have this donut latte and marshmallow latte and tiramisu big donut. And again, we have this mini miniature coconut, raspberry and marshmallow donut. <laughs> the remains, only one left, all inside here. I saw everything, including Kevin's crotch. <laughs> How did you guys enjoy the trip overall? It was satisfying. It was above satisfying. Do you guys usually go to these kind of places? Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> well, but, but maybe not so much. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, maybe you. I do. <laughs> I would think. My girlfriend. How about Damon? Yeah, I'm not sure. I go to the war memorial. <laughs> I mean, I'm a local, but I also don't go to those kind of places. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. I. But you don't go to coffee shops either. Yeah, you don't go to war memorial. Too. I don't go outside. <laughs> it's fun seeing like what the tourists actually see uh, in their eyes, how they view Itaewon as. Very different from what I viewed it as, or what other locals viewed it as. Because for me, Itaewon is like. Just bars <laughs> and clubs. For me, Itaewon was all about cafes. It's, there's really a lot of famous and popular cafes in Itaewon that you guys might not know of when you're only looking at the TripAdvisor. If you guys would just like stroll down the street and go to some random place and it will be good, like, I promise. Guys, there you go. You guys saw TripAdvisor versus locals. And we're gonna open up a poll uh, down in the link below. Uh, it's gonna be in the comments. And basically, you guys are gonna have to vote which tour you wanna go on, uh, TripAdvisors or locals. And the winner will have an extended budget on the next episode <laughs> of, Please us. of an enormous budget of $30 enormous. per person. Wow. I don't want to go standards. to crappy places with <laughs> Then the loser will have $5 <laughs> per person. Where do you go with So, $5? yes, $5 per what person. What do you do with that? Now, why do you like, already think that you're going to lose? Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, guys, you guys are going to have to vote. Uh, we'll open the poll for a while. And um, it's gonna be in the comments below. Uh, get to that link, and then you're gonna go onto our Twitter account, and then go to another link because uh, we want you to follow us on Twitter. <laughs> so <laughs> go, go check it out, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye.